Rats chewing through a shower pan? What? All right, so we get a call from Art, who found us on YouTube and said, hey guys, I've got a massive rat infestation and it's been happening since Halloween. And I don't trust anybody else but the twins. So in this video, we're headed out there to hunt these bad babies down. Hey Art. You guys made it. You made it. Good good morning. Morning. Dave? Dave? Yeah. Brother Jim. Nice, nice to Jim. meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you. Meet you, man. Thanks for having us. Okay, so I'll just start from the beginning. Um, we started hearing the scratching at the end of October, and okay. I thought it was my dog. My wife was like, I think I have something in the walls, and, and I wrote her off. So while I'm taking a shower, I'll show you guys. I'm getting out of the shower, and I, I just covered her right here. I looked down, and I could see the teeth marks. <gasps> oh, wow. I, see, I looked down, and I seen the teeth gnawing on the little hole. Oh, yeah. So and when was the last the time day. you guys heard the scratching? Yesterday. Yesterday. That so seems like every other day. Every other day. And okay. he's going from this bathroom to my other one. And I'll show you that one. Okay, yeah, let's go check it out. So Dave was saying that they're chewing on some pipes, possibly two are? Yes. What caused me to call you guys is, so we know that they're scratching over here as well. Okay. Scratching behind here. And my kids were taking a bath Wednesday night. And I'll show you where I noticed the leak from downstairs. So I said, do you got the kids in the match? Like, I had them in there half an hour ago. So apparently, when the water was draining, th there's a leak somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, okay. And I think it's in two spots. I'll show you where Is that it is. Is it a constant leak or only when the tub is being used? O only when the water's running. Okay, got it. So I walk up, and the water was dripping from this corner. Okay. I thought the sprinklers came on because this whole area was wet. All right, we're going to go ahead and insert the uh, ferret camera inside there just to see what's going on before we demo. Oh, you could see Art put some poisons in there. Look at that. Good idea. We'll see this Let, let's open up the hole a little bit more, Raul. Maybe we can get a better visual. Yeah, it looks like he added some bait in there as well. Interesting. All right, yeah, let's demo this bad baby out, Raul. Okay. See what we find underneath the shower pad. It's going to be interesting. Anytime you demo, you guys always want to cover your vents. You just don't want that fibrous material to get into the duct system and when you're dealing with rat dust as well. So just want to offer that tip. How we doing Dave? Unbelievable. This brat's got some teeth. Art says rip all that out. We're going with a brand new custom shower. So that's what we're going to do. Going to be interesting what we find underneath the shower. You know I've been doing this for 30 years and I still get excited. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we've got some of the shower pan floor removed. And you can see that the rats, what they're doing is they're migrating around the skirt of the shower pan. We removed the bench seat. A little bit of uh, nesting materials right here. Gotta figure out how they're getting in here. Here's the other side. And they chewed the paper here behind the shower. Uh, you can see that the shower has been completely demoed. What we found is a possible runway here. If you can see the smear marks on the on the pipe, it comes all the way down. You can tell that even the ABS, guys, I don't know if you can tell on there, but it's scratched. Let's see, I'll give you better light here. See the scratch there on the ABS? In this pipe right here, what I'm doing is I'm following it because the skirt of the shower was right here. So it drops down here. So it was convenient for them to have a highway here and then come into the shower here. So now we've got to investigate further up into that attic. But you could see their smear mark right there. So now we got to get up into Art's attic, which is, come take a look, pretty dusty and a lot of insulation. So check this out. Jimmy, I found something. Follow me over here. Okay. Looks like uh, Victor found something. So we're gonna head over there. And, uh, like I said, this attic is super dusty with the insulation on top. I'm not seeing a lot of activity on top of the insulation, which is good. All right, we made it to the bathroom here. Let me show you the bathroom right above that shower. Uh -huh. there we're gonna oh yeah, there's the opening right there. Over there, and then above the shower, look over. Oh yeah. Okay. There's the, uh, there's the nesting materials right there, this corner here. So here's the area where they were coming in and out of, right here. 
There's the shower right there, guys. Oh. Get that. Yeah. Ooh. Get right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah. oh, there's a hole right there in the garage. Oh, all that? All that right there. What do you think? Do you think on the other side it's like that? Oh. Yeah. All right, I found their access point right here. So what we do, if you're ever in an attic, what you can do is shut the light off and look for daylight. Let me shut my lights off, okay? I'll show you what I mean. There we go. See the daylight right there? That's the opening there. There's the daylight. Let's remove that area and see what it looks like. Look at what they brought in, you guys. This is how intelligent rats are. They pull the rag in there and chewed it all up. So let's see what we find here. massive hole right there I have no idea how this t-shirt was shoved in that hole right there I went ahead and performed a pure black application and then screened it off double thickness and screwed it down and then over here I packed a lot of wire mesh inside this hole here along with our pure black and then now I'm gonna do an exterior over this as well so just kind of want to show you guys okay so here's the above the shower we have all that screened off there Okay, so now we've got all of this screened out, pure black, and I'm going to add one more screen there, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, all the exclusion work has been done. We're going to put our twin dust in the corners in the dark spaces. This stuff is such a very strong smell, and the rodents cannot stand it. It'll flush them out. So we're going to go ahead and apply this as our last and final step up here in Art's attic. Okay, then we're going to add one more pouch, like that. We'll put that in the corner. Wow, that attic was super, super dusty, guys, but I'm so glad we found that hole. Hey, guys, for those of you who call in our office, you know, asking for pricing, totally respect it, but this is why. This is why the cost sometimes is what it is to get in those attics like that and to, uh, to deal with that type of exclusion work. It's, it's tough work. It's not easy. So I encourage you if... Uh, if you are calling and you're looking for that lowest, lowest price, we're not the ones. All right, guys, super happy with what we found today and what we did. Here's that shirt. Wow. Holy <laughs> oh, boy. It used to oh, say. Oh, gosh. Is that just a plain white one? Yeah, see, yeah. they chewed it up and then they actually, it was amazing because they shoved it into the hole for the nesting. That is crazy. It used to say Raiders on it, but they. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dave, where was the. Uh, so, right the where area? the. The two roofs meet up there. Oh, got it. Okay. So that's where I was up in the attic, you guys. There's the bathroom window. All the exclusion work that I did is in that far corner there. Right. Okay, guys. So we've demoed out this tub. Check this out. Go ahead and move that insulation there. Look at this. Daylight. That's why it's super important to open up materials. Thank God Art wanted to remodel his bathrooms anyways, but can you imagine the difficulty of finding these types of intrusions, entry points? So, wow, good find there. Okay, so we're outside and you can see that we've got a flashlight inside. And this is where, right there where that bright light is, this is the entry point to the tub upstairs here. So all this is completely accessible for rodents to get in underneath that tub there. It's a big find. So again, folks, anytime you have rodent issues, especially up in your attic area, like this tree here, we're gonna recommend that this gets trimmed away because rats can jump three feet onto this tile roof and they have uh, access into your home. So there's the tub. As you can see, it's been a long day. We got the truck fully, fully loaded up. We're gonna go inside now and just start cleaning up secure the property we set up some traps up in the attic area so tonight's going to be a big night if they are in the attic we'll be able to we'll be able to catch something hopefully in the next few days uh, so we're just going to make a plastic wall here for the master bathroom just so we don't take any chance of there is rats that come out into the uh, space here and then the other bathroom we're doing some aggressive aggressive exclusion work so we're getting screen here inside the wall down all the way across 
No more rats getting in here. Such big finds today. I'm so glad my brother got in there and found those openings. And then right here was a big find. So super excited. This one here deserves the rat dance. Well, it's a long day today. We just uh, left Art. If he texts us saying that there's a lot of ruckus in that attic, that is what we want to hear. Well, guys, heading back up to Art's. We got that big rat the day after we set the traps and did the exclusion. We've been monitoring for approximately three weeks. No more noises in the walls or ceilings. No more rats. And two new tub and showers. So let's go check it out. I'm super excited to see the end results. Uh, Josh, our bathroom and shower installer is just wrapping up. So let's go check it out. Super excited. So here's the tub, guys. Josh is just finishing up. Wow. That is impressive. Got a corner shelf. We've got the soap niche. Another corner shelf there. We got a deep soaking tub. So you haven't heard any activity in the last couple of weeks, huh? No, it's been quiet. That's so nice. It's been quiet, yeah. Um, we got one um, yep. that Saturday after you guys left. From yep. that point, I haven't heard anything. That is incredible. Yeah, good news. I'm going to check it right now. Okay. So guys, really interesting. Josh, when he was replacing the tub, he obviously had to cut the plumbing out. And look at what the rats did. They chewed through that pipe. Remember when Art was explaining that the water was coming down the stucco? Well, that's what the issue was there. So what was happening is the rats were just basically nesting behind this tub here and chewing on the blast, uh, black ABS pipe waste and overflow. And here's the shower. Awesome working with you, by the way. Really, oh, man. really. It's been great having you come. You guys have been a godsend. Yeah, I'm so glad we were able to find that entry point up in that attic and also get your uh, your shower and tubs done as well. You know, you guys have been a one-stop shop for us. That's why I called plumbing, uh, my electrical, drywall. Everything has been done. You guys have been great. Thank you so much, Thank man. You. Appreciate you. Wow, guys, that was awesome. Getting the rats, brand new tub and shower walls. Pretty awesome job. This has been a great, great journey. Guys, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear what you'd have to say about this episode. Let me know if you like that style of tub and shower. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.